Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Daisy's World. This is the Saturday time to clean my bathroom edition. Some tips and tricks on how to get that bathroom spotless clean. Um, and I've been doing the same thing for years and years. So I'm going to follow you. Just I'm going to turn the video around so that you guys can uh, check me out in action. Here's my bathroom. All right. Here's the bathroom. Hope you can still see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is my laundry room. And this is where I keep uh, most of the products that I'm going to be using. Um, let me pan around here so you can see my laundry room. That's where my dog Riley sleeps. Uh, it's also where I do most of the shooting for my Daisy's World uh, production. As you can see, I've got my uh, setup here. So this is where I usually shoot everything for my Daisy's World uh, YouTube channel. But uh, in the laundry room is where I keep the products that I use uh, to help uh, with the bathroom project. Um, you got to get yourself a little bit of this Comet. I use the Dow Scrubbing Bubbles. You're going to need your Glass Plus Cleaner or, you know, Windex, whatever you use. Um, I use the Lysol, that blue stuff, you know, the, the toilet bowl scrubby thing. And sometimes I use that. Basically speaking, if you have something like this, Lysol, Mr. Clean, uh, let me see if you can see this. Woo, lemony fresh. And uh, you'll need some, uh, over here, you will need some paper towels. So this is more or less what you need. Uh, you know, those uh, little blue uh, cloths that I use, uh, or any cloth, any kind of cleaning cloth. Uh, you know, cotton is better because it rinses better and you can always pop them back in the machine. But uh, yeah, this is what uh, I use to get started and uh, make your bathroom spray. Sparkle, baby. Sparkle. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and start our project, shall we? Okay, guys, so here we are. I sprayed everything up. I usually buy these little cloths that you can buy like a bag of them at Home Depot's. Home Depot, and they're great. Pop them back in the washing machine, come out like new. They're like terry cloth, spongy, but they're really, really good. So I basically have already sprayed some stuff in there. Now it's time to scrub the duck dough. I'm going to put a little bit of water in my mixture, right? And then I start cleaning away. And since I've already sprayed everything, right? It, everything just comes right out because if you spray it ahead of time, like, you know, get up early in the morning, spray your tub down after everybody's done with their morning routine. And then by the time you come, all of this stuff just literally just comes and slides off really good. I always get the corners, get my tile work done. I uh, hope you can see this. Hope my camera, my XZ Premium is doing justice and that you can hear. But then I get all the corners really good. And you know, I have one of these glass uh, shower things. And it's not that bad. I mean, you know, it does pick up smudges and things like that, but it's not bad at all. And as you guys can see, ooh, hopefully you're not looking at my uh, my butt over there. Um, she basically just comes, everything comes out pretty darn good. And anyway, you don't need to see me. You need to see my cleaning rag in action. And I basically do this as the solution I've used here in my home for ever, 21 years I've been here, okay? Um, uh, yeah, don't uh, hate on my new bathroom, courtesy of my children as well, and uh, yeah, it looks good, right? Anyway, so I get the door, get that door done, and my solution actually cleans and wipes right down. You know, you still have to clean it up with a little clear water. Um, I don't know if you can see this on my glass door. I just gotta be careful. Last thing I need is to, to break it. Get the bottom, you know, all that gunky stuff that's on the bottom of the door. That stuff comes right off too. 
just have to have a little patience. Like I said, if you put your little solution in, maybe like an hour before you get ready to do it. And then everything just washes down really nice. I don't know if you can see me over here. Let me bring the camera. Oops. Sorry about that. There. Now I'm going to do the part that uh, a little bit of camera shake. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to do inside my tupsies, inside my, my window well here. Get rid of all of that stuff. Bring it down good. Especially, you know, like right around the holidays when you had all these people come to your house and they showered and everything like that. Hey, I disinfect everything. If you know me, you know that this is going to be good. Okay, so then I turn on the water a little bit, like a little bit of warm water. Right? And then I start rinsing everything up. Sometimes I actually uh, use like a pitcher, you know, to get everything good in there. But you know, I get the handles, disinfect everything, clean my tiles, clean the aroma. Okay. Very good. In this, and all the little nooks and crannies. And it's very simple. I mean, you know, I don't mean to like criticize, but you know, sometimes you go to people's houses and that tub is like, I don't know, grungy. And I can't live in a grungy tub. You know me? No grunge. Um, you know, you need something down there. If you do this like, Every two weeks, I mean, I say you have to do it every Saturday, but you know, every two weeks, you should get your tub of the scrub down. Uh, you know, get it in there. And then the side, especially the corner. And that's where usually everything stays stuck. Which is why I'm not a fan of shower curtains. I like a glass door. Shower curtain to me is a germ magnet, okay? Germ magnet. Yeah, don't like it. I like a nice shower door. Got a little spout that going on in here. Get everything that good. Get a little extra water in here. Okay. And I start, you know, I rinse out like my shampoo. You know, people come during the holidays and they'll be touching you, you know. I'm not feeling it really long. I'm going to set everything down, put everything back in its place, my conditioner. Yeah, we still use Sesame after all these years. Don't wait. It ain't both, don't fix it. Um, I get my... Get my dove in there, my liquid soap. I mean, today's generation is all about liquid soap. I'm still a soap girl. I like soap. I got everything in my bathroom with either white or gray. But and I get the liquid soap because when the kids come around, you know, they like that liquid soap. I'm, a, I'm an old-fashioned. I need a bar of soap protein. So, I'm going to Here's my salt fish. I put this underneath the water. Get all that gunky, salty soap slugs out of there. That's usually pretty good. Okay, you do everything like I'm telling you. You really see beautifully. And you get a nice, clean soap, soap salt. Okay. There's a little thing for like the toothbrushes. I always keep one in the shower, you know, maybe that company or whatnot. Um, I usually really use it for my razors, but, you know, you know I just clean everything off, very nice and clean. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Here's the laser. I did a window sill. I got a nice big window. Let me see if you guys nice can see it. Uh oh, not enough light there. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, I got a nice window. It's one of those privacy type windows where we're looking my yard and my pool. So, you know, that gets a scrub down too. Okay. Roll the tires back here. Nice and clean. And that's it. I'll put it together. I'll be back in a splash. Okay, so we're back. And I've already done the top, put my little stuff back, did my walls. I just did the Windex on my glass door. I love my glass door. It's one of those uh, frameless types. You know, opens up this way, opens up this way. And the only thing is, you know, you got to keep it clean. And if you're like one of these people that I like, never do it in like, you know, two years, and then you got to throw away the damn door because there's no hope. And I've even gotten those clean. But if you do this like once every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? And just do a quick rinse. You know, your bathtub tends to look uh, pretty good. All right, nothing like a nice day when you come home from work, right? And your bathroom looks spot on, right? Okay, so now that the bathtub area, as you can see, is all done. You know, I tend to be a little anal, so I really need to get in there good. Once the bathroom area is all done, then the sink is next. And with my sink, I have one of these... Uh, you know, the the square type of sinks. Here's my Windex because I just did that. I'm going to need that again. And uh, I always start, I've already sprayed it with the dial scrubby bubbles, right? And then I now go put a little water and I start cleaning all the little gizmos where our toothbrushes go. Yeah, the, get in there. That thing, those things get nasty, um, you know. And uh, you don't want it to become a germ magnet. So I always put my toothbrushes here. I got my, oh, my little grandkids' toothbrushes with the little lights to tell them when it's time to stop. Uh, tell them when it's time to stop uh, brushing. Nice and orange. Right. I got my daughter number one who always comes and spends a couple of days during the tax season. This is hers. Mine. And Jada's, who unfortunately will be leaving tomorrow off to nursing school again. This is the nursing school toothbrush. Yes. Nurses need nice teeth. Um, okay. Enough play. And then, you know, aim. This is what I use. I don't like that Colgate white toothpaste stuff. I know we grew up with it. Over at my brother Danny's house, they're a big fan of that white Colgate. Can't stand that. I need gel and minty fresh. Okay, so I had already put a little water in the toothbrush holder and the toothpaste holder, right? So now I dump that out, right? And with the same kind of cloth, you know, you start taking all that nastiness out of it. Yeah, get in but good. Um, then I rinse, use a little more water, rinse it all out of there. I don't know if you can see. Get that really good in there. Rinse it all out. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Nice and clean. I don't know if you can see that. Spotless. Then I do the same for the toothbrush holder. Now the toothbrush holder is always like a pain in the neck because it's got that little, it's got that little, uh, you know, that little split where you go half the toothbrush is on this side, half on this side, and you really can't get in there good. But trust me, if there's a will, there's a way. And I basically get in there, watch and see. Let me turn off the water, don't want to be a water rat. And uh, I basically first put a little piece of the towel in there, right? Mm -hmm. And then with even my toothbrush, I just move it around in there. My toothbrush is protected by a holder. But you, you can put any kind of little sharp object in there. Just get in there real good, all around the corners. I usually do like a little circly thing like this. Yeah, get in there. Bring it out, then do the other side. Pop it in there. Yeah. You know, this is my trick. You don't have to use your toothbrush, but it works for me. 
and uh, clean it off on the bottom. And as you can see, comes out nice and clean. All that nasty stuff. You know, when you put your toothbrush in and it gets wet, you know, it gets in there and you get all that gunk in there. I don't, I don't like gunk. So I basically, oops, rinse it again one more time. Sometimes I cover it, give it a good shake just to make sure that it's all out. And yeah, it comes out. Okay, my stuff is, for, this is like a really good resilient plastic. And uh, the one from the toothpaste is porcelain, so you know, you gotta be careful with your stuff. But anyway, so once I'm done with that, I go ahead and I now start working around my sink area. And you know, everything in my bathroom is sort of, you know, very modern. I'm, I switched up recently, so I went with like a really modern spa type of look. Again, this bathroom is uh, courtesy of my children because obviously I must have done something right. I raised five of them and uh, sometimes when I tell the man this is what I want or this is what I need, they come up with it. So uh, do well by your kids. Your kids will do well by you. Um, so anyway, so I just give it a scrub -Z around. I always get back here, you know. There's sometimes little hidden nooks and crannies, get in there. Don't be afraid to, you know, get in there. What? Right. Right. I'm going to take my napkin. I start drying everything off. Right. Two brushes go back in the same order. Order number one. Order number five. Two grandchildren, when they come, they brush their teeth, and mom, right? Uh-huh. Then, I dry the one where the toothpaste goes, get it in there, and now my toothpaste goes in there. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little smudges around here. Okay. So that's that side of the sink. Now we're gonna move ahead, move on. Whew, sorry about the thumb. And then I'm gonna do this side, and on this side is where I keep like the hand soap, liquid soap. Again, you gotta get in there real, real good. Make sure you get in there, get back there. Yeah, because you know, I'm, I've been cleaning bathrooms and stuff. Ooh, that's, that light's not that great anymore, is it? I get a little closer. You know, since I was a kid, I used to do it for my mom. I used to do it. I used to like it. I used to like to, when my when I used to come home from school and my mom would spend like all day cleaning the house and making it look really nice and pretty. Um, I don't know. That's close to my boo. Um, and uh, if anybody knows, people that know me know that I can be like real anal about it too. Um, I'm not saying that you got to do it uh, in my way, but get in there and clean that bathroom. Anyway, uh, once I do that, then I always have like little soaps or something here. So I always rinse this thing off. Mm -hmm. A little guest soap. Put that back. Just, you know, you always keep rinsing your stuff. You know, I keep rinsing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far so good. Now we do the cabinet piece. And the cabinet piece... Uh, let me start it up again and then we'll do the cabinet piece. Okay, I'm back. Now, the cabinet piece. Now, I, my, my cabinet, you know, it's got, the, I don't know if you guys can see it real good there. I got those really, you know, those nice self-closing doors and drawers. But you know what? When you find all these guests and daughter number five was here for a couple of weeks, you know what? <laughs> it can get a little messy down here. But I'm, I'm one of these people that all I want to do is see... My lotion, my night cream, my day cream, my deodorant, and a dental floss. So that's me. Uh, you know, um, I always make sure that it's nice and clean and organized. I dust the drawers. Right. Put a little Windex on the doors. Okay. Scrub this doors good. Hope you can see me scrubbing my pores, scrubbing my, my cabinet.
said, for the holidays, you know, when people have been here, they've been home, you know, and you don't have time to, you know, I think it was like three weeks ago that I gave this bathroom a real good scrub down, except for the, the tub, you know. And let me tell you, three weeks is a drought with me because I used to do this once a week. And technically speaking, I've got to people's houses where it looks like that tub hasn't been touched in a year or longer. So that's why I'm just trying to give you guys some tips on how to do this very easily. It's clean down. Dental floss. The toothbrush. You know, razor blade. All of that stuff. That's cleaned up. Lower the camera a little bit. Lowering it just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Can you see it now? Huh? Okay, cool. Then I put a little bit of Windex here in the front. Get in there good. I technically don't like to see uh, like fingerprints and stuff like that on my stuff. I'm not a little bit fan of that. It bothers me, but that's just me. You don't have to be as uh, as obsessive about it as I am. But again, anybody who knows me knows that this is what I do. Right, get in there real good. Get those nooks and crannies nice and clean. Especially when you spend a lot of money on, like, on your bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know that my daughters give me this as a present. But when you spend a lot of money on your bathroom and your furnishings and things like that, I don't understand how people just don't be taking care of their stuff. That behooves me. Totally vexes me. Anyway, so, so far so good. I've got everything there nice and polished up. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, and we're back. So now the sink was done. My counter thing was done, uh, my cabinet was done, and now I do the Windex on my mirror. Let me have my paper towels ready. Alright? I'll do the window, I'll do the mirror here. Get that nice and clean. And you know what? I usually have my like, music and stuff, but since YouTube is so like, you know, you can't use anybody's records or songs or anything on the videos. Um, and I know you all don't want me to hum. So basically speaking, uh, usually when I do this, I got my music in the background. I'm blasting uh, either my hits or a little bit of Drake or some Celia Crew, you name it. And I am constantly, uh, you know, with some music in the background. I usually do this. I'm here alone and I got my music, gets me motivated, you know, and uh, that's that. Okay, so the mirror's done. Nice. Now let's move on to the toilet area. Let me see if I can bring this around this way so you can see what I got in my toilet area. I don't know if you'll be able to see me. That's my switch to duster. Right? I hope there's enough light in here. So I'm gonna just take this out the way, lift this. Some of this stuff, like, you know, sometimes you got little goodies that people give you for Christmas and stuff. I always start putting this stuff away, like, towards the, you know, beginning of the year, because, you know, I, I like very minimal, very, very, uh, minimal. I don't like clutter. I like very straight lines, very minimal, modern, easy to clean, you know. So, basically speaking, for the toilet, sometimes people use that blue stuff that you scroll around. I forgot what the name of that is, but I use Lysol. The lemony stuff and it disinfects, put a little bit of that in the toilet so I can get to it in a few minutes. Alright? Now I'm gonna do my cabinets and shelves. First I do the swift and duster because it does get dusty up here. You know, I guess I can get rid of this, you know. These things, whoo! These things are good. You buy them over at either Bed Bath and Beyond or you know, sometimes even the 99 cent store has them. And they come in different different uh, things, uh, the uh, 
different scents. And this one is called Hello Gorgeous. It's got a nice scent. It's already running out, so it's time to replace it. But they come like in a four pack, and you put these things all over, and man, they sell one that smells like baby powder. My sister in law Lisa says, Ooh, where you get that baby powder from? I'm not having my own baby powder on. It's one of these in baby powder scent. But these are great. So if you're going to pick a couple of these up and put them all over your house, that makes everything feel like nice and fresh and clean. But that one is almost time to replace. So I'm going to get rid of that. Got my towels. Come up here. Do that. Right. Then, I use this Murphy's oil soap. And it's pretty good. Like you squirt a little bit on it. You don't need a lot. These are, these are still in good condition. But it just gives it that little shine, you know. Get in there, takes the dust up with you, go underneath it, all right? That's it. And then from the top, do the same. Mm -hmm. So, you know, get rid of the dust, because, you know, a lot of the stuff, sometimes, you know, you got these little things, these little uh, things in your uh, bathroom, and they're just dust magnets. That's why I don't really like to put a lot. I like, like, you know, my bathroom to be spare, very sparing. Just what I need, please. Put my Donna Karens back here. I'm a big Donna Karen fan. Yes, uh, Cashmere Mist is my favorite. And my favorite perfume as well. And uh, this is a little dispenser for my Q-tip swans. Give that a little dusting. Oh, and then the one for the cotton balls, which needs a refill. You have a... Is it me or I'm the only one that refills these things? I mean, everybody comes to the house, they use the last freaking cotton ball, and then they don't bother to refill this. That just irks me. But yes, I will be refilling this. Just wanted to show you real quick what it looks like. Nobody else refills it. Uh-oh. Alright. Clean. Uh, I don't know. That's good. Now we open the one up. Okay, so that's it for the cabinet. Right, everything is nice. Okay, so we did the cabinet, we did the Windex, right? We did the Swifter Duster, sometimes I do my lights too. Uh-oh, I just noticed that I have a light that's out. Darn. Hope to God I remember how to, uh, how to fix that one. Uh, I do my radiator, get all the dust off my towel holders. Right. Get all of that out of there. All right, I'll be back for the toilet. Okay guys, back I go. Now we're almost over at the end. Now the toilet. And I had already put my Lysol in the tank. So I start bringing my cloth, giving it a good rinse, you know. Rinsing it out good. Do the seat real good, get under there. Right, do the top. Do that. I also get on the floor, you know, do all of this stuff. Because you got all of this nasty hair and stuff that, you know, sometimes that's some of those hard to reach places. Yeah, well, I do reach them. Hope you can hear me. I'm doing this. Clearing that off. Yeah, getting it real good. Because this, this, this thing, you know, just becomes like the germ magnets. Right? Good. Okay. Now I'm going to get my toilet brush. And that's another thing, people. Don't forget to also clean out your toilet brush and the little holder that it goes in. Right? And like I said, since I have put this early, all I got to do is give it a nice thing. Get, it, get under there. Get under the bottom of the toilet. Mm -hmm. Alright, give it a good flush. Beautiful, look at that. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go, I'll be back. I'm gonna go and clean my toilet bowl brush. All of this I rinse in my slop sink in my laundry room. You know, get rid of that nasty little water that accumulates in there, clean it up, I'll be back. 
Okay, so here is the finished product. And as you can see, everything is back to shape. Uh, that's my rain water shower. And uh, let me open this up here so you can see how nice and clean everything looks. Nice, my tub is very nice. Nice and clean. Yes, I got a big tub, right? Everything is nice. My window. Everything is beautiful. And uh, just the way I like it. And, it, you know, you spend about an hour, maybe an hour and a half on a Saturday, you know, right before you're getting all dolled up uh, to go out, you know, clean that bathroom. I mean, the best time to do it is during, you know, I've always done it Saturday. I mean, you know, I'm not one of these people. Very rarely do I do it, uh, you know, uh, over the uh, weekday because, you know, you got jobs, you got all of this. But on Saturday, you get up. Put those curlers in your head and let's get going. Um, let me show you guys. Uh, it's the bathroom. Yes, I know. I got to change that light. Um, but, you know, I really like the way my bathroom comes out. And, you know, you, you get used to doing it. Toilet. Um, let me just show you guys my new cotton towels that my sister got me for the holidays. These are from, uh, this is the hotel brand. And I always tell everybody, invest in a good cotton towel. If there's one thing I know or I learned from my years of uh, taking care of my vacation rental in Florida is that, you know, invest in good towels because you wash them. And what happens when you buy that cheap stuff? They turn into crap, right? So, you know, everybody should invest a couple of bucks in some nice towels. You know, you can get them, you know, TJ Maxx, Overstock, uh, you know, Wayfair, uh, you know, I, I go all over the place, you know, shopping around JC Penney's another good place and you know, they wash well and, uh, you know, they feel nice. And, uh, these, uh, if you want to, you know, get them like nice and, uh, you know, when you first get them and they're like wrinkly, you know, just uh, pop them in the dryer with, with a fabric softener and then they puff right out and you get all those wrinkles. I sort of like to put mine like this, like a little hotel, you know, spa thing going on here. Hope you can see that. But yeah, I'm pretty, 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 pretty happy with the way it came out. And like I said, you know, you get the, you get your, your, your products up in line and you can do this, you know, once every couple of weeks, at least, uh, one, two, three. I also line my, uh, my garbage can. Let me see if you can see my, my garbage can here for a minute. I always line them with like, you know, those shop right bags or the bags you get when you do your shopping, just line them in there. And that way, when you get ready to go you just pick up the bag throw it in the garbage you're done um, but yeah so I'm really happy with it and I hope you guys learned some a uh, couple of tips here so keeping your bathroom nice and spotless um, I'm gonna be trying to do a another video uh, pretty soon uh, maybe I'll clean a closet I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a jewelry thing I'm gonna be around and I will definitely uh, you know post soon and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell me how you get your bathroom clean or any part of your house for that matter of fact. I'm not saying that I'm an expert, but I've been doing this for a very long time and I think I got it down packed. So anyway, uh, see you around the YouTube and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.